Yeah. Uh. Uh. I'm known by many, to many I'm some different But if your heart's full of hate then keep your distance I penetrate the hardest heart and leave them dented So when I speak they take What up, what up, what up y'all It's one of you profit me fly from my rant today Um I'm not gonna walk around. I don't even know I'm outside because it's cold as shit and I don't really want to be out here. But that's not the purpose of today's rant. Today's rant's about things. Simply put, I'm grateful and I thank you for tuning in, listening, coming to my events and following play and fucking with play. Some real shit. I appreciate it. Okay, I lied. Today's rant's also about, because that was all I was gonna say thanks for. Oh, and moms, I love you. Thank you. You just said 27 hours? Huh. Let's get to it. So today's rant's really about references. Yesterday, we all celebrated Thanksgiving. Oddly enough, you know, I had sat through a prayer where someone was thankful for America and the president. And while I'm not thankful for that dude, at least we don't have, like, dictator Etrigan, his buddy, or Putin or someone else worse, right? And... I'm keep it all the way 100 with y'all. That shit didn't really affect, phase me or upset me. 2020 is almost here. This shit's about to be over with. So it is what it is. What's important, though, is that yesterday wasn't really Thanksgiving. Indigenous People's Day. And the reason why it's Indigenous People's Day is because people started using references. Started learning actual history and not the American folklore we're told. Thanksgiving is actually the date of a massacre. We're celebrating genocide, or the beginning of a genocide, basically. And so one thing I'm thankful for besides you guys actually is um, references. You don't have to believe everything you see or read on the internet. Wikipedia is not an actual source on most papers Reports, whatever. If you go to the bottom of Wikipedia, people list their sources. Um, back when I was in grade school, book reports were like books. You had to know the author, the publisher, the page that you're quoting or taking information from to prove your theory or your thesis. And yeah, you had to read that book. There was no control F. There was no find the word, the keyword I'm looking for and read one sentence. You actually have to absorb and understand the information. And by knowing who the author was and when it was published, you also could form an opinion on how factually based that information was. I mean, around the same time of Thanksgiving, there were maps that had this entire continent or other continents as dragons, or other islands as dragons, or the sea ended, or the world, you fall off the edge of the world. That was a fact back then. But it wasn't really a fact. We know better now. So if you know better, you do better, right? So instead of next year celebrating the genocide and being ironically thankful, <laughs> why don't we celebrate and acknowledge the people that that happened to? So I guess I'm also thankful for understanding. I'm also thankful for time. I'm also thankful to be alive. I'm blessed, highly favored, and I know a lot of you guys are too. So anyway, I'm not gonna chat your ear off today. Hope you had a happy Thanksgiving. I did, and uh, I'll tune in with you guys a little bit. Before I get out of here though, I do wanna let you know that we are less than two weeks away from the Headliners concert series. It's gonna bring you Pharaoh, Allure, District 6, Twin Taliban, LSP, Uncle Dagger even in one city. So, if you don't know, hop on our Facebook. Hop on our Eventbrite, cop a ticket. Or just message me, shit. I got tickets on tickets. I can make shit rain tickets. Um, but yeah, holla at your boy. Make sure you get to see the awesomest concert series in this area. I'm gonna get out of here now because I'm trying to lose feeling in my fingers. Again, thank you for tuning in. And remember, uh. it is always playtime. Yeah. Uh. Uh. I'm known by many, to many, I'm some different. 
But if your heart's full of hate, then keep your distance. I penetrate their hardest hearts and leave them dented. So when I speak, they take notes. So on their minds, I'm pinning. My words are like ink, but they're sharp as pencils. I always give you food for thought. So grab the utensils. This life is a beat, one long instrumental. Make sure your words cause effect to reshape your mental. Growth is an option. Be wise at deposits and what the smack of knowledge.